Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, we're back with another episode of Quick Hits. Um, we're going to get into this Loma uh, versus Haney pay-per-view, which is May 20th, $59.99. Is it? Well, find out in just a second. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Up to date on the greatest boxing news and rumors. Um... Please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. And a little bit of housekeeping. The Virgil Ortiz versus Stenonis fight for April 29th is postponed. It's not going to happen April 29th. I will get more details. I'm going to contact Virgil's manager tomorrow uh, for, for details on that. But please, uh, all right, let's get into today's show. So, uh, first, I want to open up with this question. If you had a choice, and you could only buy one, overpriced the same. I understand you don't have to. This is just a hypothetical. I understand you can buy both, and I understand they aren't the same price. Haney and Loma, Tank and Rye. Say, I, I know the other fight, the, the Tank fight is at 136, whatever. Which fight would you pick? I know I'd pick Haney. And, and Ryan's unproven, right? Like, I think Ryan's an excellent fighter, but he's the best win. Um, and, and Haney lost a, a, a substantially lower sum of money than the uh, Ryan and Tank fight, like forty percent less. It's substantial. It's huge money. It's huge. Savings for a better fight. So does that make it a good deal? Does that make ninety nine eight? Well, no, it makes it a horrible deal. You know how much it is? It's $59.99 too much. You know how I can say that? Because it wasn't that long ago that Loma, in his prime, in his peak, pound for pound Loma, had him at number one, but this surging superstar who just captured a belt in Lopez, all the belt, died for it with, with your ESPN subscription. That was for $0. Now, for them, it's $60. So how is 60 a good deal when a better fight was zero? Guys, this, this model is dead. The most popular sport in America is the Super uh, is, is a, The most popular sport in America is, is the NFL. Um, obviously, their biggest game is the Super Bowl. If they charge... $84.99 or $59.99 for the Super Bowl to watch the Super Bowl at home. How much, how many people do you, do you think 110 million people would buy it? Right? Because that's how many people watch it. Do you think 100 people would spend 85 bucks or even 60 bucks to watch the Super Bowl? Of course not. You might get one tenth of that. Honestly, you might get one, you get 10 million. Maybe. This is destructive to the sport. You can get advertisers. Does the NBA, does Major League Baseball, does the, the hockey pucks, does the soccer, do they charge you a hundred bucks or 80 bucks or 60 bucks or 50 bucks to one game? Ryan Garcia versus Tank Davis is not the Super Bowl. That's a regular season game between the Bills and the Titans, right? I, it's not even that great. I, and, and, and okay, I, would you pay eighty-five dollars for a Monday Night Football game? It's insane. It's ridiculous. That's what they're asking you to do, guys. Don't do this. And I, I don't know either one who's gonna buy, especially Ryan versus Tank for eighty-five bucks. Who is gonna buy that? Seriously, who's gonna spend eighty-five dollars? 
for that when you can stream it for free. This is awful. Go to certain sports and 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 and, and, and get you cannot go to Crackstream. Don't go to Crackstreams.com and watch it for free. You cannot do that. It's not going to work. If you go to Crackstreams.com, you cannot watch that fight for free. And I'm not telling you this because I want them to lose money. I, I want you to know that you absolutely, definitely, 100% cannot go to Crackstreams or SportsSearch.net and watch this fight for free. You cannot do it. It will work. I'm not telling you to watch it for free. I'm just saying it's ridiculous, and they're killing the sport in doing this. This is insane. This is ridiculous. Not only is no one going to pay the $84.99 to watch Ryan versus Tank, the next month you've got two pay-per-views. you got Canelo and then the Loma Haney fight. That is 60 and, and 55 60, uh, 60, 120 bucks for pay-per-views. So I don't know. Let's say your 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 normal cable bill is one fifty. You're gonna have a cable bill of two hundred and seventy bucks that month to watch two fights. Eddie Hearn told me that the zone was the death of the pay per view model. Is that not the case? Is that not true? This is out of control, and I'm tired of people saying, "You know, cheap, don't be broke." The economy is awful. Need money, okay? You can watch it for free. You can stream it, same quality, same service. You cannot go to Crackstream. You cannot go to Source Sports and watch this for free. You can't do that. But if you could, it would be the same exact quality. No one is, no one is going to buy these fights. This model is broken, and it's killing the sport. You do not drum up a fan base by putting something on, but I. In football games, are eighty dollars a pop, or sixty dollars a pop, or fifty dollars a pop. Do you think it would have this big of a fan base? Do you think it would be this big of a money machine? No, because you have to generate a fan base. No idea, and no one's gonna buy it. But you, you got Loma and Haney, ABC, Disney, ESPN. They got trillions, billions at least. Let's put it on. Like, you don't need to do this. The money, you, let's say it does 200,000 people you watch, which it won't. All right, let's say it does 200,000. I'm going to break out my mathematics machine. 200,000 times 60 bucks. It's $12 million. That's what you're generating off of this. If you do 200,000 pay-per-view watch, which you won't. It's just not good. I, it's just not good. I, I mean, $12 million to keep this from fans, which could be a great fight. A horrible idea for a comedy with as much money as Disney, ESPN. It's just a terrible idea, right? Like, you can grow fans if you show them the if you hide the sport from them, your fan base is not going to grow. You've got so many good fighters and so many good boxers, and you are killing the sport with stuff like this. So, no, $59.99 for Loma versus Haney is $60 too much because we got Tiafimo Lopez versus Loma for free, and that's a better fight. Because Loma wasn't past it at that point. Now he is. And eighty four ninety nine for for King Rock, fun fight in the ring, great fight. No complaints about the fight. I'm glad we got it. People are not going to pay that. I'm just letting you know, right? I mean, maybe you get two hundred thousand, but and that fight, but this pay per view model's got to go. I mean, it's not going to sustain. Do we get any numbers from Plant Benavides? No, we're not gonna. You know why? Because somebody bought it. Everyone streamed it for free. Because they did not go to crack streams or they did not go to certain sports and they did not stream that for free. It did not happen. I think this is insane. It's not a good deal. It's way too much money. This is ridiculous. We are boxing fans. We are not golfers, right? We're not golf fans. We're not country club people. We're fight fans, right? Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Quick kits come at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the greatest and latest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please.
the channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from my channel go to autism research and recovery. Uh, it is March 29th now, uh, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.